Good morning from Baden-Baden. We are in Germany, ultimately on our way to Lake Como. If you're wondering why my head's poking out of a window, we arrived here in the dark last night and I didn't realize just how stunning this place is. Look at the view we got. How amazing is this place? Anyway, running a little bit late today. Ultimately, we're heading to Lake Como today um, for Villa de Est. And fortunately, we're gonna be able to base ourselves there for the next few days, which will be awesome. Um, but now I'm running around the room like a madman because I spread all my gear around the room uh, just to sort of start editing last night, which resulted in me editing till 2 a.m. Hence me waking up very late. Okay, on the road again, day three. Man, this place is actually absolutely huge. Check out this funky window here. Stained glass going on. Anyway. My room, it's been cool. Day three, McLaren F1 road trip. <clears throat> um, really conveniently, I got myself a co-driver. I say it's c convenient because I'm finding that these days are so intense and relentless from a content point of view that I'm sort of filming at one minute and editing almost simultaneously Simultaneously, because I gotta get the video out in time for the following day. So I'm actually editing while I'm in the F1, which I'll show you in a minute, is really tight. Such a glorious day. Behold, sunshine. was here. Uh, some friends. Some friends? <laughs> yeah. Dad, these guys, they are everywhere. I would not make a good car spot. I suck at hunting down cars. So where are you guys from? Uh, yeah? So did, did you guys have to drive far to get here? Uh, half an hour. That's not so bad. Okay, cool. Sorry we're taking so long. We're, we're having a lazy morning. Coffee? Yeah, yeah. Today's our longest drive yet. Probably. Probably, yeah, maybe. 500 miles? Yeah. Ish. Yeah, and we're, we're heading quite far south, so we're gonna get to the beautiful lake, yeah. and then we've got to use it for a, a base for a while, which means I can actually have a lion. We're gonna go on the boat. What you we're think? Gonna go on a boat. Uh, we gotta go on a boat. We gotta go on a boat. You can't go, go to a lake that. and get on a boat. Yeah, let's go on a boat. We need to pull up to the port with the F1, yeah. and then do some like glamorous shots, stepping off into a Riva Aquarama, with your hair. drone <laughs> over the boat. Yeah, wind in our hair, just having the time of our lives. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go quick, it sounds amazing. Third passenger seat is taken up by a bag. Driver's seat, my seat, laptop. Honestly, when you're in there with this thing, it's cozy. It's real cozy. Best burger in the world. In the world. It's like your last meal, but you have to have a burger. Okay. Where are you ending up? I have to go to the Apple Pan in Los Angeles. Um, the Los the yeah. Apple Pan. Yeah, it's old. They have amazing French fries. Like the dudes that work there are like 65. Right? And they've been there since like day one. That's, a, that's an Apple Pan burger. It's the inspiration for In and Out Burger. They serve it like a hot dog? Yeah, like was I just. Up in, look at this. You know, that's look the this. bun from Vertical. It's wrapped. Wrapped yeah. in paper. Wrapped in paper. Yeah, yeah. What's so special about it? Have they got their it's, own secret sauce? It's like just deliciously prepared. Good ratios of ketchup, good beef, 
great cheese. Such a German way to explain a burger in an American mm. accent. In an American accent. <laughs> the burger to cheese to salt ratio is on Very point. Nice. Yeah, look, there's, that's what the place looks like. Okay. It's a counter, seating only. Apple pan? Yes, when you're in LA. Anyone heard of Apple pan in LA? Apparently this is the go-to burger joint. That is the best burger spot in Los Angeles. I was just commenting that my Burger King, what did I have? Number two, a Big King XXL <laughs> is almost identical to a Big Mac. Right. Like it tastes the same. If someone gave it to me, I'd be like, that's kind of like a, a sloppy Big Mac. Right. Maybe yeah. that's the whole point. Maybe that's the point. Yeah. They spent a billion dollars to make it that, taste like a Big Mac. The R&D in this <laughs> is ridiculous. But imagine if, if it tastes like McDonald's, then mm -hmm. why would you go to a McDonald's? You just go to a Burger King. And yeah, spot on. You know, you learn things when you make toothpicks for a living. <laughs> <laughs> How, do you, how else do you think I afford these cars? I'm the toothpick yeah. guy. I made it round. <laughs> Billions. <laughs> so next up, Gothard Pass. Correct. We opted to go over the mountain range instead of under it, just because it's like an incredibly beautiful day. And, like, and we want to hit some tight, twisty roads in an F1, so. How could you not? The yeah. mountains are like covered in snow. No, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I think we just had the first acknowledgement that we are driving an F1 by a member of the public. In front of the Burger King. In front of Burger King. Some kid ran out and he was like, this is a McLaren F1, I've never seen one in my life. We were on the road for three days and not a single person has batted an eyelid at this car. That's really great. An American sounding kid. American sounding kid, yeah. American -sounding kid. Yeah. yeah, it was so, so odd, but anyway, let's go. One of the best things about cars and YouTube and everything that I get to share with everyone on here is the travel and the locations we end up in. And a lot of the time it's, you know, boring motorway getting to these places. But when you get here, I mean, where I am now is unbelievable. And I always find you can have fun on any road in any car. But when you bring something as special as a McLaren F1 to a location like this, it is truly breathtaking. Okay, what else is cool is we've got Luke here taking some official pictures of our little F1 tour. So we're basically scouting for amazing locations. Now this is pretty good, but I'm not happy with this like dirty snow here. So I, I reckon if we move the F1 between these two snow walls, right in the middle of this road, that is gonna result in something pretty awesome. I think around about there. And is it central? Central. Perfect. That's got to make for a good picture, right? Yeah. Awesome. Also, from my point of view, it looks amazing. Framed by these two isolates.
GT3 RS. Maybach RS, Bentley. It's a good start. The Bentley's from Monte Carlo. Uh, okay, should I just go in good front? Start. That looks well. And reverse it back in. Yeah, I know. Okay, check in. Long day. We've made it alive. We, made it. we are here. One piece. Lake Como. Also, Maybach. They're cheap as chips in Dubai. Really? Yes. I got a load of all of the, all these GoPros. How many have we got? One, two. What do you think? Do you I've got, I've got enough GoPros in here. It's your final day on earth. You're gonna get wiped out by being hit by a car. Well, you can choose what car it's gonna be. I got my answer already. Go on. Then we're getting Kutosh because it's pointy <laughs> and it'll end me quickly. But then you could, I thought you were gonna say like an F-150 Raptor so it was really gonna do the job properly. Well, no, you might survive that. Then a 16-wheeler or a, a, yeah, like a Brabus 6x6 six six, so they got room to put you oh, in the back afterwards. Kutosh, you're sliced in half, done. <laughs> Just take the shins out and then you just yeah. Well, at least I think the vintage right? would break down before. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna hurt. At least with a with a six by six, you can, can you like, they can scoop you up, wait, and put you in the back. But you right? may get knocked underneath it. It's not guaranteed. I mean, it's the rule. That's true. Do you have to die or can you just get? Yeah, it's, it's, it's your final. It's minutes. your final oh. minute. It's your final oh. way out. You're gonna be hit by a car. What car is it gonna be? And hold on. There's a, there's a uh, another point. It's gonna be chiseled into your into your gravestone as to what it was. I might go like Daytona Dude. Competizione. <laughs> Dude, why are you so negative? I'm not, I'm giving you the option. Like you're, in, you're in Lake Hume. Why would you want to die here? Because he just said, if we're going to get hit by a car, it's a good, it's a good week to get hit. I'm going to go uh, daff racing truck. <laughs> to do the job properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it would come over you. Would yeah, like, probably. Smash me to bits. It's a car truck, maybe? Yeah. The Dakar racing, the support truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With, with all the weight. Anyway, on that morbid note, I'm going to uh, call it a day. See you next time. <laughs> Ciao.